What's up, scholars? Today we're going to talk about logarithms. Now, logarithms are the inverse functions <coughs> excuse me, to exponentials. So let's go over to Desmos and talk about what that means for just a second. So let's put in an exponential function. I'll say y1 equals exponential is we had a base to an exponent. I want that to be the number 10. <clears throat> and I don't know where that 6 came from. Let's just try again. Y1 equals 10 to the x. All right, cool. There's our exponential function. It's got this asymptote at y equals 0. It's going through 0, 1. As we go to the, it's a exponential growth because that base number is bigger than 1. Uh, it's a lot bigger than 1, so it's going to grow pretty quickly. Cool. Okay, now, when we found inverse functions before, you remember we switched the x and the y, and then we solved for x, right? Um, and then graphically, the inverse functions reflected off of, or were reflections across the line y equals x. So our inverse function to this exponential function on the other side of this line needs to go like okay and that my loves is going to be a logarithm log of x see it is a perfect reflection across this y equals x line they are inverse functions of each other and that's who we're talking about today Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, so again, I want to keep relating this back to exponential form. So let's write out our exponential form. Exponential was some base b to some power x equaled some number a. And that the its inverse function, the logarithm form, is going to be this log function, log of base, or yeah, log base b of a is going to equal some number x. So again, the right the way we read this is log base b of a log base b of a <coughs> equals x. Okay, now use the same letters here because uh, they are going to be the same letters in these equations, like they're the same numbers here. So the base of this exponential becomes the base of the logarithm. The exponent of the exponential becomes the answer of the logarithm. The answer of the exponential is what we're taking the log of. All right. So the questions that we're asking in exponential versus log form are, well, the question for exponential is a number to some power gives us what? A number to the x power equals what? Now the logarithm question is saying what exponent for b would give us a? What exponent for b gives us a? All right. Okay, if we think back to the Desmos example, uh, for the logarithm, I gave you y equaled log of x. And I didn't say what this b number was, did I? Right? I didn't write anything in there. That's because the common logarithm uses a base of b, or a base of 10. 
If there's nothing written there, we assume the base is 10. So the common log, which appears all over the place, <coughs> uh, it was so frequent that we just we stopped writing it. We said if there's nothing written, we're just going to assume it's 10. Okay, so the common log is log base 10. Log base 10. If there's no number written for the base, we assume it is 10. Base is 10. Awesome. Okay, let's do some practice writing stuff in log form from exponential form. I rewrote our rule here, exponential form b to the x equals a, and log form log base b of a equals x. So, for example, we're going to write in, gonna convert to log form, this 3 to the 4th power equals a1. Okay? So I call this the loop swoop, right? We're going to convert from b to the x equals a, or convert this to log base b of a equals x. So we're going to say log base b of a equals x. That's where the my loop swoop comes from. Log base b of a equals x. So we're going to say log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's great. Now let's go in the opposite direction. Let's convert to exponential. We've got log base 5 of 125 equals 3. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to mean we'll take, like here, this will be b to the x equals a, b to the x equals a. So 5 to the 3 equals 125. 5 to the third power equals 125, which a lot of you already know because you uh, you know your your power stuff pretty pretty well. That's cool. All right, we're doing great. I think we've earned ourselves a little bean break. Just getting so big, right? Yeah, growing so much. I got to show you guys how we do our puppy push-ups. She goes, she finally like sits up and then goes down. And then sits back up and sits back down. Yeah, why don't you show them some puppy push-ups sometimes? Want to listen to some more logarithm practice? Mmm, it's so soothing. You love it. Okay, we'll do some more practice. Okay, we're going to talk about evaluating logarithms. And we're going to do it without a calculator. You could plug all these into a calculator. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to talk about how to use our definition of a logarithm to evaluate three logs. So we're going to figure out what log base 8 of 8 equals. Okay, so use our loop swoop. We're going to convert this back to exponential form. And then we'll the, the answer will just come to us very quickly because this one is pretty easy. So we're going to say 8 to some power equals 8. 8 to some power equals 8. Well, we know what this is. This has to be 8 to the first power equals 8. So that means x equals 1. Bunch of geniuses. This will always happen when the base is the same number as the number you're taking the log of. Same, same thing, always. And, uh, of course, we picked 8 here because that's the best number, favorite number. Boom, shakalaka. You know the rest. All right. Let's look at another one. Let's take log base 5 of 625. And that's going to equal some number. 
Let's loop swoop it up. So this will be 5 to the x equals 625. 5 to some power equals 625. Oh boy. 5 to the what equals 625? Well, 5 squared we know is 25. Uh, 5 to the third is 125. 5 to the fourth is 625. Great. So that means x equals 4. Cool, cool, cool beats. All right, one more. It's going to look trickier than it actually is. Log base 4 of 1 fourth equals what number? Loop, loop it up. 4 to the x equals 1 fourth. 4 to what power equals 1 fourth? Uh, what? Uh, I turned 4 somehow into a fraction? I put, oh, hold on, what if I make this a fraction? What do I really do here? Oh, if this was 4 to the negative 1, then that 4 would go into the denominator like it did over here. So that must mean x equals negative 1. <coughs> nice, nice work. All right, finally, we're going to use everything we've just learned and solve some simple logarithm equations, logarithmic equations, which I will pretty much always abbreviate as logs because we're math magicians here, right? We like shortcuts to writing. So let's just write out log. L-O-G. Sounds good. Okay, first one up on the chopping block. Log base 2 of 2x equals 3. All right, let's convert this to exponential form. I think that's going to be helpful here. So 2 to the third power is going to equal 2x. 2 to the third power equals 2x. Well, we know what 2 to the third is. That's just the best number in the world. That's just 8. And then uh, we definitely know how to divide by 2, so x equals 4. That was so easy. A bunch of geniuses over here. A bunch of geniuses. Okay, let's try another one. Slide that up. Give us some room. Our next example. Log base 5 of 25 equals 5 x. Okay, if we converted this right away to exponential form, we'd have 5 to the 5x equals 25. 5 to the 5x equals 25. Um, I don't, I don't think that's real helpful right now, because I don't know what that is. But let's just look at the log base 5 of 25. Just this part here. And let's say this equals some number, because it does. We're not going to set it equal to 5x just yet. So we're just looking at log base 5 of 25 equals some number. Maybe I should call it a different number than x, because we're going to solve for that over here. So yes, let's call that what number kind of looks like x. Just kidding. We'll just call that y. So we're just evaluating this left side of the equation. We're leaving the right side of the equation alone. So this would be 5 to some power y equals 25. 5 to the y equals 25. Okay, well that's easy enough because I know 5 squared equals 25. So y or equals 2. So that means the left side of this equation, log base 5 of 25, that equals 2. So we have 2 equals 5x. And then we can solve this pretty easily by dividing by 5. 
So we get x equals 2 fifths. Okay, I'm going to show you another way to have done that from this exponential form. All right, we had 5 to the 5x equals 25, and I said, what? I don't really know how to do that yet. However, if we can make the bases on both sides of the equation equal, then we can set the exponents equal to each other. So what I'm saying is this has a base of 5. If I could write 25 as 5 to some power, then I can set those powers equal to each other. And that we definitely can do. 25 is 5 to the second power. Now both of these bases are the same, so we can set the exponents equal to each other. 5x equals 2, divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals 2 fifths. <coughs> so either one of these ways is going to work. Either one. Either one will do it. All right, let's do one last example. Oh, totally have room for this. Sweet. Log base x of 7 equals 1 half. Okay. Uh, well, we can't evaluate this left side because I don't know what that is. So we're going to change this to exponential form. x to the 1 half equals 7 x to the 1 half equals 7. Something to the 1 half power equals 7? What? What? Gigi says, what? What? How are we going to get x by itself? Hmm. Hmm, well, okay, I know x to the 1 half, that's the same thing as the square root of x equals 7. Now I know what to do. Let's square both sides. Yeah! So then x equals 7 squared, which is 49. Oh, yeah. All right, scholars, that's that's our intro to logarithms. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I love you. I will see you later next time. Come to my office hours. We can hang out and uh, do some math together. Peace.